presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think. Everything you do has a consequence, and you are going to be going to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or another. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 11, Nasdaq up 3, 14, S and P's up one, gold gold contract down 12 dollars 40 cents, trading at 1986 an ounce. We have silver down 13 cents, 23 dollars 15 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude. Up 58 cents, eighty-one dollars ninety cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note down 23 ticks, trading 107 20. Thirty-year full point plus four ticks at 112 17. And King dollar, King dollar is up 204 ticks, trading 105 225. Euro at 107, yen at 149, British pound at 123 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, you know, last week, folks, market bottom on, goes top side, takes a huge amount of energy. And what you can see out here today, you know, bottom line is that when you, when the SPY goes from a price point of, uh, in this particular case, what, we went from uh, 409 uh, up to 435 uh, in, in six days. So you can expect that you're going to be building cars. That's what we're doing. We're going to this is a sideways move, 45. You're up 31 cents, but this is really an inside day. So it's 47 million shares. And I expect we're going to be building cars for a bit in order to basically, you know, get into the, you know, higher levels up here. That's most times when you get an acceleration like this, you know, the bottom line is you got to build cars. Building cars is going sideways, pulling back with light volume, getting ready for the next leg up. We go into the queues. We take a look at the queues. Same type of setup inside the queues. They're, they're both higher, but slightly. They're really, they're really sideways moves. Uh, the queues uh, up 71 cents. The queues did go over as high today, but bottom line, still a sideways move. 30, 30 million shares traded. Uh, now, the queues are, no doubt, much stronger than the SPY, so the queues are at a much higher level. We go into the notes and bonds, and this, this is the number, man. The notes and bonds are the number. So what you're looking at here... You get the 10-year right now, we are yielding 4.65 and 4 point, uh, well, it was actually 5.02, which, which was the high. Out here today, you're pulling back. You're pulling back with light volume. So we're pulling back 23 ticks. You got 1.4 million contracts traded. And if we take a look at this, you know, this thing can get, get right down again to the uh, 106.18. That will be, that'll be a normal pullback. Coming off, coming off a low. You know, you, you come off, you get the sign of strength, you pull back to where, the, you know, basically you built out a bottom. Now, what's intriguing about the 10-year also, folks, is that the 10-year the had the highest shot position since 2006 last week. And they had piled, the funds had piled into this like beyond belief. And that's exactly what you need for large turns in the marketplace. The bottom line is it blows my mind that they actually piled in at lows, but I've found that, yeah, professionals, I don't get it, man. You know, they, they have a stock that's trading 100. All of a sudden, it gets down to 
30 and they're piling in on the short side. Well, and it is what it is. But that stat, that's, a, you know, 2006 to today. So there's going to be a lot of shot covering, number one. There probably has been a lot of shot covering, but there's going to be a lot more shot covering. Um, notes and bonds want higher price. We go into the gold contract. We take a look at gold. What do you have with gold? This, this is big bottom line. You can sideways move again. You're down uh, 12 bucks. But you can see that you 1.3 million contracts out here. We're in the same area. Now, the cool thing about gold is this. Gold is Friday, you're pushing this higher swing, and you're pushing it with volume. So when you're pushing the higher swing, either up or down, well, up would be a higher swing, down would be a lower swing, and you start pushing with volume, the probability is going to blow right by it. So we'll see how this shakes out. But right now, you've got 1.3 million contracts. That's going into, basically, yeah, that's going into... 2.6 million contracts, okay? So we're still consolidating out here, trying to get up and over this, uh, you know, 2018. My take is that we're going to go to 21.29 on the move that we're talking about right now. We get it to uh, King Dollar. King Dollar is the number, man. You know, you get the interest rate structure. So, you know, when interest rates go down, bottom line, we'll make currencies in whatever country you're dealing with uh, weaker. So we have with King Dollar is... You know, you're up 220 today, which is no big deal. But, you know, you rejected lower price at 104.684. My take is that we're going to get down first to this 104.699. And what that is, that's where we broke out from. You know, it took us, you know, a couple, couple weeks of trading, up, down, all around. So today you did reject this uh, 104.899. So most times when you see that, you can see we broke that consolidation with conviction on Friday. So that would say the dollar can pop up to like the 106,599. That's, and that's, that was the bottom of the consolidation. So you can pop up there, probably set up another ABC structure on the way down. We'll see how, we'll see how the whole thing shakes out. But uh, silver, we're going to take a look at the silver market out here. Silver also, you know, last Friday we got a nice sign of strength inside the silver market. And today you're pulling back with light volume. So we take a look at this. Silver right now, you're back 14 cents, and you're going to see, you know, Friday we go higher with uh, 100, no, 78,000 contracts, and today you back it down with 49. That's, that's a nice setup. That's, that's a setup that wants higher price. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here today, and we have, you got Tesla is down a buck. Nothing's really moving. Well, Apple's, at, well, let's talk about Apple for a second, because this, this is amazing, you know. Apple, you know, come out with their numbers. And, you know, as I said last week, if any other equity had four losing quarters, meaning in growth, which Apple did, this, this stock would get killed. Not Apple, though. <laughs> Bottom line is that it's taken out a swing point today. It has lighter volume on the swing point. But guess what? Apple's Apple. And people are looking forward on Apple, seeing how many i15s that uh, Apple can sell. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Orr joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. 
Teddy Kegstaff breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 14. Nasdaq's up 21. S&P's are up two and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You'll see it right on the right-hand side. You can get Steve's newsletter for one month for $119. You can get it for uh, six months for $5.95, which is a savings of $133, and you get it for a year. Oh, did I get this right? One second. No, sorry about this, man. I, I, I knew I was, those prices were wrong. One second, man. Sorry about this, Steve. What the heck did I just do here? Cancel that. Where did I go? How did I just do this? Sorry, newsletters. How did I just do There it is. Oh, there it is now. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Once, what is happening? There we go. Nope. Oh, my God. Okay. Here we go. Sorry about that, folks. Okay. Get it for one month for $149. You get it six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593, or 33%. Now, what happens, folks, is that they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve has a huge amount of tools that he uses every day to, you know, that you're going to get as soon as you get the newsletter. So come on over. You get it for months, six months, a year. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, just 28 days, just cancel it, and, you know, you charge nothing. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I think I have found a diamond in the rough in your neck of the woods in St. Pete. Oh, I like it. I a real diamond. So I went. I've uh, been to a number of concerts here, or last over the last week. One of them was Saturday night. A group called Acoustic Alchemy. Great, great jazz band. Most people have heard their have heard some of their songs, whether they know about the band or not. Okay. And I've seen them probably. They travel through South Florida once a year. So probably for the last five, six years, I've gone to see their concerts. And the one of the founding members, his name is Greg Carmichael. Great. Amazing guitar player, but his wife is uh, is dealing with some some major sickness and illness, and so he's no longer traveling with the group. So I was a little bit bummed about that. Well, turns out the guitar player that was replacing him is a guy named Nate Najar, and he lives in St. Pete. 
he doesn't just live in St. Pete. He also plays in St. Pete. Right. And I'm telling you, Tom, if you like guitar players, this guy is just extraordinary. And, I want to write this down. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to show you here. This because I know we got a number of listeners uh. in the Tampa area. Turns out that uh, he's playing, I guess, um, uh, in uh, in Clearwater, November 17th through the 19th. Okay. There is a Suncoast Jazz Festival. Oh, I think yeah. it was down. I think it was down just past the old office area. Yeah, it and is. That, we can see it from right? the office. Yeah, no, no, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, right. So right. there's there's a festival there, and he's playing at different times, so you could look that up. But he's okay. also doing a Christmas. I believe it's a Christmas event on uh, Thursday, December seventh, and December eighth um, in St. Pete. Or it's I, I'm sorry, December seventh is in St. Pete. So you can you can look that up. Uh, Nate Najar, right. N A J A. Nice. I mean, it is he is he was amazing. So all of a sudden that wasn't so you know I always say everything in life happens for us, uh, and and really that was. So I was I was a little bit bummed that uh, Greg Carmichael was going to be there, but really what I got was uh, you know was a new guy to listen to. How cool and, was that? Yeah, and then last night I went to see uh, uh, Special Effects, which is a jazz band that I've been listening to for 30 years, and I've never been able to see him travel. And uh, one of, one of the main players, his name is Kaylee Minucci. He brings out a uh, a woman uh, to play the uh, the violin. Her name was Karen Briggs, B R I G G S. If anybody looks it up, and and she was amazing. My wife and I we looked at each other. We're like, wow, never heard sound like that coming out of a uh, of a violin, you know, in this jazz band. So, uh, but 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 uh, finding and, this. Nate and the most jargon. of these are at small venues, Steve. Right, which oh, is really very cool. Small. Right, yeah. yeah. What L happens last folks, night? Yeah, yeah. Two hundred people max, which is huge, you know, which is dynamite. I know. Yeah, I know. yeah. So, which is it, it is so wonderful, you know, to see that. So I was, I thought I'd pass that on to you. I, I couldn't wait really to tell you because I'm like, it, and then when I found out he was playing there, I'm like, oh, this is a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's one thing to be a resident; it's another thing to you know play in your local community. No, totally, man. Totally. Right? So that's beautiful. So last week, let's just uh, get to the markets here. Last week, the spies, the Qs, the diamonds, and the IWM form weekly Gartley buy patterns, folks. The Gartley buy patterns pattern is uh, in a market that's moving higher. You get an A to B equals CD to the downside, and that's what we refer to as a, So it's the same thing as a buy the D point pattern. And uh, so each of those formed uh, formed a nice uh, bull sash candles to confirm that pattern. So I'm showing the A to B equals CD patterns on my screen. People can see uh, it's got a one the one to one level. Then I go to different Fibonacci expansions. I use 1.272, 1.618, and the 2.0 level. And what folks need to understand is the way that I look at an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside or the downside. We're talking now of the downside. The way that we know that the pattern is completed is the is is the market will tell us and will tell us by forming some type of bullish reversal candle. And that's one of the tools that I teach to subscribers out there. So we've got weekly um, Gartley buy patterns. It's really important for us to understand where the profile levels, where resistance areas are. So folks are looking at our screen or copying it. It's in the upper right hand corner. It shows you top W, center W, bottom, BOTW. That's the weekly chart. And it's just the center of the top and the bottom. Bottom is where the buyers are at. Top is where the sellers are at. Another support resistance to observe is what I refer to as the oscillator and change line. And we can clearly see that last week's move was really a test of that oscillator and change line, a test of resistance, especially if you look at the IWM out here. Big move last week, right? But ran, boom, right smack dab into resistance out there. This is the weekly equity futures contracts. They each also form Gartley buy patterns. So we've got really nice, significant buy patterns. However, it, the issue is, can price take out resistance? And so far, the answer is no, it hasn't. And so here, just like uh, the Russell 2000, lower right, if you see it, folks, you can see it ran right up into that red oscillator and change line. Now, a red oscillator and change line is, um, is, a, is more of a problem than a green one. A red one, red one tells us that we have a falling price oscillator below zero, and that's a very bearish condition. So in the case here of both the Dow, which had an amazing rally last week, uh, and the Russell 2000, they ran, ran right up into resistance. How does that work? It's a beautiful thing. We take a look at the daily time, time frame here for the SPY, the Diamond, the IWM. They completed what's referred to as Rhodesman to Mindicator Bottoms, the Q's ATD9 count bottom. And the uh, Q's here, um, uh, the, the, the Q's ran right into resistance. The breakdown level was at 369.92. Now that's using the TD9 count system out there. It just gives us an objective level of resistance. So we've run into resistance, resistance, resistance out there. That's important to understand. The point that I'm trying to make is that last week's rally it's run into daily and weekly resistance areas, and therefore, at this moment in time, we do not have a clear signal of any kind of a market breakout. So if we're at resistance, the next logical question is that mean the market is topped. 
And the answer there is the market is most likely forming a short-term top. And what I look at here, this is the New York Stock Exchange. And the center panel here, it says advanced decline oscillator. That's what we're taking a look at. And what this did was this got into extreme overbought territory. And when we get into the overbought territory, that's a move above the plus 150 level. That condition needs to work to be worked off. Now, the cool thing is what I really think is going to take place here. Now, the market's going to form its next top, and it's not right here right now. If you take a look at all these green diagonal lines up at the highs where price is moving higher. Yes. But then look down at the advanced client oscillator where it's moving lower. I believe whenever we get above this 150 area, and we were at the highest level since January of uh, this year out there, that's typically the way that a top forms. So this is the pattern that I'll be looking at, and that's when I believe that we set the next top inside the markets. You know what's so cool, Steve, which is just too. And folks, it is so hard to do a weekly um, oh, got it is. I mean, yes. this is this is it's not easy, folks. Okay, no doubt. Yeah, and, and my mind's still open to that. Oh we no, could no, have I, I get it. Bond, I get right? it. It's just really cool, man. Well, right, listen, yeah. man. Can, can you just text me that guys? That I will. Awesome, Absolutely, man. Awesome. Absolutely. Have a Take great one. Hey, have a great one. So have a safe one, Steve. Thank you. Thanks. You might Stay right think there, that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow, Dow's up 16, Nasdaq's up 21, S&P's up uh, two and a half. Let's go take a look at the SPY because I want to show you that, you know, when markets are moving like this, folks, okay? So here's the... You know, as Steve was just talking about, you know, we're, we're at resistance just about everywhere, right? But it totally makes sense, too, because watch what happens here. When you move, you know, as fast as we did last week, 
in six days, the, the bottom line is that, you know, we can say that it already came back to August 15th. Well, that's pretty intense, okay? Because we're at November 3rd or 4th, right? So what tends to happen is this. This is what you like to see, which we have in the SPY. So as you go up, you see that the type of volume that we have at the highs? Most times what happens if you are going to basically give it up on spades, meaning, you know, you're not going to be able to get through resistance, is that as you go higher, you'd have a contraction of volume. Now, we don't have that. We have an expansion of volume as you go higher. But it's just like an elastic or anything else. That is quite a move. And you're up to the next level. So the bottom line is that when you go south, what, tend, what does happen is this. As you're going up to the next level, this down, down the bottom is the vol volume. You would see that drop off dramatically. Now, that's not what we have. What we have is that you have volume on the move. Now, this is going to get choppy. You know, it, it, can, it can definitely get choppy. Now, someone had brought this up in the den last week, and this was a great question. And I didn't get to answer it last week. Well, the question is, is that, is this a three-gap play? So watch this. One, two, three. There's three gaps, right? So let's go through a get three gap play because I've paid many tuitions, meaning I didn't lose money. I paid tuitions for my kids when they were in school on three gap plays because they're really cool things to trade. So the way a three gap play works is this: is you have you have an expansion on the upside, and you can see this is a this is a beautiful three gap play. And what happens is the reason I'm saying it's a beautiful one: the first one's a smaller one. The next one, large, and the next one's large. If, in fact, this is a three-gap play, what we'll end up seeing is this. It goes sideways for a bit. Then, all of a sudden, you gap down once. You don't have to gap down. You just come down. You go down to the second one. You go down to the third one. Now, if that's what we do, folks, okay, <laughs> and we do it with light volume, you want to be, be, be ready to buy hand over fist, okay? Because the way a three gap play works is this. Wherever the gaps are in the first place, that's the trend. And in this particular case, of course, the gaps are upside. If, in fact, we get back down there, you guess what? You just, if you play options, go right in the option market, man. Because these things, when they operate, man, they operate in spades. So, you know, we'll see if that's what we get. Um, you know, it's, it's possible, that's for sure. Uh, it would take quite a bit, meaning inside the bond market, for us to basically come back down at this point and nail those, those gaps. Because what, what we do have, as I said a little bit earlier, you have a huge, you still have a huge amount of shots inside the note and bond market. You know, see, this is a, we're at a dynamic turning point here, and, you know, we'll find out whether the bulls are going to be right or the bears are going to be right inside the bond market. You know, mostly right now you still have bears inside the bond market, and what that means specifically is that you go to lower price, higher yield. You know, bottom line, we'll see how this shakes out. You know, right now we came off those lows, you came off them with volume. You're pulling back today with lighter volume. You know, if we go look at the TLT, what you're going to see the same type of setup. Now, the TLT is the 20-year plus. And you're going to see that, you know, bottom line is down 84 cents. We go higher in the TLT off the lows. You go higher with 72 million, 69 million, and then 77 million. And today, you're backing down with 32. That's what you'd love to see. Now, what, what happens in the TLT, you know, this, this just turn around and not fill the gap, but there's a gap right below us that, that absolutely can get filled. You know, we'll, we'll see how that shakes out. And that's, if I go over to the 10-year and take a look at the 10-year, what you're going to see in the 10-year is that, you know, it took like a couple weeks for it to get off the low. You're at 1.4 million. You're going into 2.8 million. You know, that being said, though, you know, bottom line is that, yeah, put do it this way. You know, right there is game. You can come all the way back down there easy because that's just how markets go. They move higher. If, if a market wants to go higher, they're going to move higher with volume. They pull back with lighter volume, you know, and they'll pull right into the last place 
where we broke out from, and that's where we broke out from uh, was the 105.27th and the 107.06. So inside, let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow out here. Okay, so point-wise out here today, whoops, there we go. Point-wise out here today, we have United Health putting 22 positive points, Amgen 21, Microsoft 18, Apple 15 taken away from it. Goldman minus 24, Caterpillar minus 18. Let's go to Goldman. Goldman, that's GS. Goldman had quite a run on Friday. And I don't know if that had to do with they... Yeah, that did have quite a run. I mean, Goldman in six days went from, uh, what is that? It's almost, that's quite a run. 250 to 324. Now, that's a run. And I suspect what that's probably all about is that they actually made less partnerships this year than they have in a long period of time. You can see that side of strength. That's a huge side of strength in Goldman's case. And let's see if we go this way. All is this, well, not all as it did. It actually hasn't, now this is interesting for the banks. See, this hasn't broke, even though we had that side of strength, this hasn't broken its downtrend yet. It's right up against that channel line. So let's go look at JP Morgan. Let's see where these babies sitting up. Same deal, yeah, yeah. See, these banks are still, uh, yeah, these banks are still having a hard time uh, catching price. Now, what will happen, this is, what, this is what gets wild. So picture, if we remember when Silicon National Bank went down, right? The bottom line, they went down because they bought way too many treasuries at too high a price. So the bottom line is that they're illiquid, they're underwater. Now, when that happened, the Federal Reserve decided to change the rules inside the context of your of bank's balance sheets and they decided that even if you were in a loss, that you didn't have to register the loss against the amount of funds that you needed in order to stay in business. So, in the context of rates coming down, this is where it's going to get intriguing because the banks will basically start getting more capital on the way up. Now, they got a long way to go, man. <laughs> they got a long way to go, but it is intriguing all the time when you know you change the rule for one thing and then uh you know all of a sudden it goes back up and you know guess what wouldn't we all wouldn't we all love that that we have a trade that goes bad somehow it says that oh you don't have to worry about it going bad you don't have to pay anything we'll just wait for it to go good well next lifetime folks maybe you'd be a banker stay right there folks come right back Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Moore joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. 
Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Let's get over to that oil market and take a look at oil. So oil has been, you know, bouncing around in a, in a monster way. It's hard to comprehend sometimes that we, you know, oil runs the whole world and oil can trade every day within like $2. So what we have out here today is that you're, you're up 42 cents, but you've rejected low, higher price at 82.24. So I suspect what we're going to see here is that it's going to try to break down like the bond market broke down. You know, we've been, it's been trying to go, well, it has been going into these lows now for five days. We came down hard on Friday, yet it didn't break it, just, just broke it a bit. Um, you know, so th there is... We have right there, uh, I mean, there's a lot of support at this level. Uh, that being said, it looks to me like this oil market actually wants to go to 71.99, wants to go all the way down to this level here. So it's at a dangerous spot right now. You know, we'll, we'll see how this shakes out in the next couple of days. If we go to the uh, XLE and we take a look at the XLE, Same type of setup, yeah. So in the XLE, you can see that we caught a bid Thursday, Friday, which it should because the market was up so dramatically, okay? Bottom line, it's not holding the bid, and it's doing the exact same type of deal, meaning it's coming into the lower end of this consolidation that it's been in. Now, the difference with the XLE is that, you know, yeah, we're at 85, and, you know, the pullback would be 80.42. We go to XOM because Chevron and Exxon, those are the two largest weightings. And they both, you know, it's, so, it, it's always so wild like this. They both turned around and did uh, a big buy, meaning buy in another company. And they did it because, of course, oil has been so high and they've been making so much money. And that's what tends to happen to all these companies, man. And then all of a sudden, you know, it pulls back. I mean, I remember the, the gold market in 2011, everyone was buying everyone, and that was like the end of, that was the end of the market for like uh, five years. So if we take a look at ExxonMobil, you know, that's at 106, where you can see the bottom of this consolidation, you know. Now the bottom, the, the, the bottom of the consolidation on ExxonMobil is, there's a lot of strength, man. And there's, a, there's a lot of support. You know, because you can see going back six months, we've traded there. And then, let me see this on a weekly. Yeah. See, on a weekly, to me, this still has a high volume low. And it's going to go after it. Yeah. On a weekly, yeah, we're at 105. 90, 96 is going to be very dangerous. You know, we came down there before, and the first time it was all the support that you have going all the way back to January, uh, May through August of 2022. There's a lot of support there. If we go look at Chevron, let 
This is a different number, man. Chevron got hit hard, man. Look at this. Oof. So Chevron just went from 173 to 147. Now, this is a whole different animal, man. What's going on here? Oh, Chevron already broke its consolidation. Interesting. Okay, so Chevron broke one consolidation. They're coming down to where it had some strength. I'm going to bring this back further. Yeah, the market didn't like that deal with Chevron was buying, that's for sure. Yeah, this could be a problem for Chevron, so that'll be a problem for the XLE, too. We're going back to the bottom of this whole consolidation, which, in Chevron's case, gets you down to uh, 147, gets you to 137. That's quite a breakdown. What also happens here, you see how long this top was? That is a problem, man. You don't like to see big, long tops like this. In fact, watch this. I'm going to open this up for you a little. Because what you're going to be able to see is that all the volume on, on this top is at the lows. First, you had the breakout. Then we made a high with 44 million. You go south with 90 million. You make a high with 39 million. You go south with 22 million and then we just went south with 79 million this is if you have the out of time in the trade this is a classic man up at the highs no volume all the lows volume that's building cost to break down that's how that's shaking out so that's uh that's a, that's a heads up in spades man you know it's also um Yeah, we'll, we'll see where that shakes. Let's go to copper, HG. Since we're going through these copper active contract. Okay, so on copper, we're laying out at 371 a pound. HG1. Let me do, I want to do a generic one on this. Let's see how far I got to go back. Put that. Okay, I see what's happening here. So, with copper, what we did is this. You come off the high of five bucks. You get down to 315. You're at 371 right now. Yeah, this, this has to build costs in order to get through this monster downdraft that we had out there from the 407 uh, to the 315 area. But this looks to me like copper does want to make this run again to the 435 area. If we go take a look at a couple of the copper stocks, the SCCO wasn't moving too much. Yeah, it's, it's hanging tough there. It's, it's building cars, but it's not moving that much. Um, TGB, which is Tseco, this looks like it wants, this one's higher price. Yeah, I tried higher price today, didn't have enough volume, but Tseco looks like to me like you get a high swing point out here of one, it's 160. They put this on a, yeah, so that came off the bottom with conviction. When they come off the bottom with conviction, they're going right back to the highs, man. Not right back to the highs, but you can see you get volume up here at the 160, then we also, yeah, you've got to take it step by step. It's going to be the, the 160 on that baby uh, on the way up. And a lot of this is going to be predicated also on the dollar. Because what, we do, what you will see, and this will get intriguing in, inside the oil market, because now oil pull back. This is a double bag. Oil pull back and the dollar pull back. So you can see that other countries, how inexpensive, not inexpensive, well, how inexpensive it was last week compared to it was the prior week because you had two different things that ended up happening. The dollar went down in a, in a big way. Oil went down in a big way. Oil's priced in U.S. dollars. You know. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down one. NASDAQ is up 19. S&P's are down one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, OpenAI. So this is going to get really interesting, folks. OpenAI is now letting users build custom versions of ChatGBT to accomplish specific personal and professional tasks as the artificial intelligence startup works to beat competition back. Now, so check this out. With a new option, users will be able to quickly create their own specialized versions of ChatGBT um, that can help uh, teach math to a child, explain rules of a board game, the company said on Monday. Now, here's the kicker. No coding is required, the company said. Now, here's the, here's the, here's the real kicker. OpenAI also plans to introduce a store later this month where users can find tailored GPTs, that's what they call them, from other users and make money for, on, from their own, much as they might with apps in the Apple App Store. Now, what's going to happen here, folks, if, you, if, you, if you've been you know, playing with ChatGPT, um, this is going to get interesting, man, because the real question is, is that if you don't have to be a coder and you can start making programs and they're going to have a store, well, guess what? Check it out. That looks to me like it's going to be quite an opportunity, um, you know, that you can get really creative and you could actually get creative on ChatGPT in order to make a program that you can put in the store, ChatGPT, Chat that may make you some bread <laughs> so this is this is moving fast folks okay this is moving real fast that now the coolest thing for you know someone like me uh, if you know nothing about coding 
um, you know, you can have a lot of good ideas. You can ask a lot of questions. And we all have a lot of, you know, different ideas about uh, what we'd like to see. So that looks to me like that uh, company store, they just might, uh, yeah, they will explode, you know, because there's, there's going to be, and that's considered middleware then, folks. That's what ends up happening. You have the, you have the actual, the, the chat GPT on the cloud, the middleware, and then the end user. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Yeah, go get him, folks.